What is up guys, my name is Andrew, and welcome back to Space Engineers, this is episode number 13, and today we've got a very, very bold claim that we're going to make, or a very bold goal that we have. Uh, today I want to complete most of what is going to be the body of this ship. I feel like we've been working on this for quite a few episodes, and it's almost time to, to move on, and by move on, I mean we're going to launch this baby, and we're going to go to the, not that moon, but the moon that's over the horizon over there somewhere, because I really want to kind of, I've never done this before at all, by the way, so if you guys think I'm a noob at this, I am, <laughs> you're totally right about that, uh, I've never, I've never launched into space, I've been getting lots and lots of comments, like crazy amounts of comments, uh, by crazy, I mean two or three, uh, <laughs> where people are saying that these thrusters here are not enough for me to get into space, now, I don't know if that's true, because like I said, I've never gone into space before. Uh, but, I mean, I imagine you guys probably know more than I do, since uh, since I'm sure a lot of you play Space Engineers all the time. Uh, whereas I'm, I'm kind of still new to the game. Uh, I, know, I know the basics, but I don't, I've never, like I've said many times, I've never gone to space before. So, personally, it feels like this will be enough, but I'm going to take you guys' advice, and I think I'm going to add some atmospheric thrusters here as well, uh, just to help it kind of get off the ground, and also to help it float without using up the precious amounts of hydrogen that we have. Uh, and I'm also going to add a bunch of ion thrusters. The problem with ion thrusters is, is, not ifs, is, if we go into our G menu and click on uh, search for ion, ion thrusters, we'll see we have all these ion thrusters. Let's go to a spot that's empty, like here. And we're going to throw some ion thrusters in here. But the problem with ion thrusters is that they require uh, thruster components. Is that is that the one thruster components? Okay. So what are th what do thruster components require? Well, if I go into uh, something. If I go into I maybe and go into production. Nope. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to, uh, to, our, to our place here so I can show you this. Big, big lead up here. We're going to discover something that we hadn't discovered before but comments have been telling us about for a while now. Let's go here. Let's look at production. And if we look at thruster components, where are thruster components? They're here somewhere. There they are. They require platinum. Not that much platinum though, but platinum nonetheless. And the problem with platinum is that platinum is, uh, I'm not sure if it's very rare or if it's just not found at all on the planets, but we have not found any platinum uh, save from a couple meteor hits that we have seen. Where is these meteors, by the way? Please don't hit my ship. We got hit last episode. I don't want to get hit this episode. Uh, please, please be kind. Please be friendly. If I were a bit more proactive, I could actually move these ships out of the way before we got hit by any sort of meteor. That one doesn't look like it's going to hit. I think we're safe. Yeah. Uh, these ones are look a little more dangerous. But the, the point is, platinum might be really hard to come by, which means it might be very difficult to actually get into... Okay, that was close. Into space. Or once we get into space, it might be very difficult to actually fly around because once you get to space, your atmospheric thrusters don't work anymore. Why am I talking about this right now? Let me talk about this while I'm actually working on the body, since that's our main goal for this episode, is to, to get some of this body done here. Uh, so, let's first thing we're going to do, and I've done a little bit of work. I still haven't figured out how to kind of make this go inward. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to give up and try something different along that edge right there. Uh, I, f I, I did find a mod that might add more blocks. I'm going to have to actually look into it, so that might be something worth, uh, worth using. But like I said, I worked a little bit on the front. I want to add like an antenna here or something. Or maybe an ore detector, or just something here so it doesn't look like a pig's nose. Uh, I mean, that's kind of what it looks like now. Or if you imagine like a falcon. It's a falcon. If this went out, it'd be like its beak. But yeah, I did I did do some work on the front. Just just a little bit, not too, too much. But let's work on this while while I talk about, uh, about space. So yeah, the atmospheric thrusters... Uh, oops, what did we do? Yeah, the atmospheric thrusters will, will not work in space. The hydrogen ones will. And as far as ion are concerned... We, we won't be able to use, we won't be able to, um, we won't be able to make enough ion thrusters to actually do much. If we can make one ion thruster, that'd be amazing, but I don't know if we'll actually be able to even do that. So, the problem that we're going to have is that once we get to space, I don't know how, how, how much thrust it's going to actually take to get to space. So, I, therefore, I don't know how much hydrogen we're going to need to get to space. Um, so, with hydrogen thrusters being our only thrusters uh, that we can use in space... If we run out of hydrogen, we are stranded. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. That means uh, if we go out into deep space where there is no gravity and we have a velocity of more than zero and we're not, we're not pulled by any planetary gravity, we will be stranded where we stand forever. 
pretty much. Actually, we'll be stranded. We'll be moving because we have a positive uh, positive velocity. So we we want to make sure that we're not going to ever run out of hydrogen. That's that's one of our main concerns here. Now, what I'm doing now, that's a very scary thing, by the way, not running out of hydrogen. So what I might do uh, t in order to not have that happen is I might fly to the point where we can actually see the moon uh, in the atmosphere. So it, the moons are like beyond there. We saw it when we flew up and then died that one time. Uh, so I might fly until we're pretty much, for lack of a better term, under the moon. And then I might just go up to try and get to it. And we should be able to find some stuff on the moon as well. So that that will be... Uh, we'll, we'll, be we'll be able to find platinum on the moon. So that will be uh, exactly what we want here. A little bit of lag there as the game saves. But what I'm doing here is I, I felt like the ship is a little bit too boxy. And you'll probably agree with me if we fly up here. You'll see it's kind of like... The front's fine, but the ship itself is just kind of a big rectangle. So what we're doing is we're kind of adding like a wing that goes out a little bit. Just just like an area where you could walk around. And this could end up being an area where we're going to throw an atmospheric thruster as well. Uh, just like kind of in this middle area. So what it's going to do is it's kind of, if we take a top-down view, it's kind of going to go out like this and around. It's going to have a big hole right there. So you can kind of walk around there. And there will be windows and it will be cool and, and that. Yeah, so... Let's get our pieces and we'll start kind of uh, still working on this. And what I what I want to do here is I want it to just kind of like, yeah, so if I take this, if I put that there, yeah, so one, we'll go, we'll go out, yeah, one will be fine, I guess. Yeah, one will be fine. So we're going to do one like that and then we're going to do something like this uh, where you're going to see it start to come out this way if we kind of maneuver this into the correct way and I'm still not great. Here's a question for you space engineers folks and I know there's a bunch of you. Um, do you guys ever get good at at doing this sort of thing? Like at at, uh, at, at moving these pieces around? Because it, it, it's not natural to use insert, delete, home, and page up and page down to actually move these pieces around. It just feels a little weird. So do you guys ever actually kind of like start to know which one does what? Or is it always just kind of trial and error? Because for me, at this point, I've played a lot of Space Engineers. Um, it's it's always just been trial and error for me. So that's what we want right there, that piece. And we're going to do the same thing on this side right here. So you're going to see it's going to kind of form uh, like an oval shape here. And it's just going to be an area where you'll be able to walk around. So right here is where we're going to do something like that. We're going to do something like this. Oops, that one switched places on me. It's okay. No worries. We'll just grab this back and then just swap these around. Uh, another thing you guys have been mentioning in the comments is that um, is that episodes might might maybe should be a little bit longer than just 30 minutes. And by longer, we're, we're, we're thinking 40 minutes here. Um, I think that might be a good idea. What do you guys think? 40 minute episodes? Here, we'll try this episode right here as a 40 minute episode. And if you guys don't like it, tell me that you don't like it. You want to go back to 30 minutes. And if you guys like it, say that you like the, the 40 minute episodes and you like you'll want to stay with that. Uh, and I think that'll work pretty well. Okay, so we're going to do something like this. And this one's going to go all the way across. It's going to meet up with these pieces here. Like that. So that's going to go out like that. And then it's going to... Okay, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to do something like this. And how much walk room do we want? So that's... Ooh, do we want more walk room than that? We might want to go out one more then. Because what I'm thinking about here is currently there's enough walk room, if you can imagine this as a little walkway. But we're going to have to, that's going to have to be a block there to just so that you don't fall into space. And that's going to have to be one there, essentially, basically just like that. And then this is going to have to be area as well. So, yeah, that's enough walk room. So I think that's going to be fine then. Okay, let's remove these pieces because they're the wrong pieces that we don't want. But, uh, but yeah, I think that'll be fine. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So what did we do? We did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get our normal pieces again. Our standard block size. And I think something like that would be nice. And we'll just do like this here. And then maybe one more. And I think that'll be good. Like that. And that'll be kind of like a... If you can imagine like a he uh, helicopter like a VTOL kind of thing. That would be like a, where the thing is. So it'll be cool. And then we'll have this. Like that. So there you go. You can kind of imagine it now. And this is just like a little walkway. I think it looks pretty cool. Let's add in the, uh, the, the, the slanted blocks. And we'll be all set to start building this thing. We should have enough iron as well. Because we got so much iron last episode. Uh, we should be completely set for iron for the 
the foreseeable future. Actually, we don't have much iron anymore because it's all been converted to steel plates. But I think that's fine. All right, you guys ready for this? Since we have the top level, the top tier welder. Watch this. Look how easy this is. We can just go through and weld everything without a problem. Uh, think back to the beginning episode. If you go back and watch episode number one, uh, we, we weren't able to do this at all. Let's go in here. Do we have any more? We have 200. That's not nearly enough. So let's fly back to base here. In fact, let's put these 200 back because we're going to grab a bunch back at base. And while we're back at base, we'll be able to refill our hydrogen, since it looks like we're running low on that. And we'll also be able to grab uh, a bunch of steel plates. A little bit of lag there as the game saves. That's okay. No problem. Okay, so you see here we don't have very much steel plates, or very many. The reason is because it's actually been placed into a chest. So I hope that's enough steel plates for us. I don't know if it will be, though. But hopefully it is. One of you mentioned, by the way, uh, in, a, in a comment, that we should remove this large reactor. Now, I want to I want to show you something. Uh, I don't know if you watched the past episodes where we mentioned that, but uh, look at that number at the bottom right. You said you played Space Engineers a lot. Look at that, uh, that, that um, 28% as I go up in the small ship on the bottom right. That is how much uh, energy it's using. And when we use the six uh, reactors, you guys remember that was in red every time. So... Uh, the, the, this reactor is definitely way better. And thank you for the person who did comment for me to put that reactor on there. So, And and that same person also commented, by the way, uh, that the reason that this wasn't working, and this is something that uh, I may have figured out during editing, is that the these three these three right here, this is the, the conveyor junction. We've got a three side, three small ones, and then we've got a one side, one big one. Now, the, re the reason this wasn't working is because these three sides were facing uh, this right here, Whereas the one side should be should have been facing that. So that's why that was not working before. Look at me going upside down. Where's that meteor storm? I don't want to get hit here. Okay, those are far off. That's We don't have to worry about that. Oh, and I've, I've pretty much decided on a paint color. Uh, what if you suggested that it looked brown? That I should paint this whole thing brown because it looks like a potato. And I do agree, it did kind of look like a potato at the start. That's kind of why we're doing this here. So it doesn't look like as much of a potato. But, um, but I do like the colors red and white, which one of you suggested. So uh, thanks for that suggestion. I think that's what we're going to go with. One of you also suggested orange and white, which was also a good suggestion. I thought that would look cool as well. But ultimately, I do like the red and white. It's going to make it look kind of like a race car, which is going to be pretty nice. Um, oh, what, what else to talk about? One thing, one thing that I've been considering is starting a Patreon page. And I, I, I'm not really fully into it. I'm, I just kind of thought of the idea one day. And that, why is that not welding? Come on. Okay, that's not going to weld for me. I'll have to weld that a little bit later. Neither are any of these. <laughs> that's just a glitch when you're flying sometimes. But I did start a Patreon page, and it, it's got like nothing on it right now. It's completely bare, completely empty, and I'm going to do some work on it a little bit later to make it an actual thing. But one of the things I've been deciding I might do is I might, for Patreon to Patreon, I don't know, how's that? Patreons who Patreon a certain amount. Uh, I might, like, name a ship after you or something. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Post that down in the comments. Still in very, very early uh, development, that whole page is. So, um, it might be a while. It might never happen at all, but uh, but I'm still com I'm still thinking about it. So, that's pretty much the gist of what I'm trying to say here. Uh, so, I decided on red and white to paint this thing. So, one thing we're going to do really quickly, and I want to see if this is actually going to work, is if I go here and then I switch the color to red and white, or red, there's no red and white, uh, there's red, and then there's white right there. If I switch the color to red, and then expand the area, or maybe if I press control, so if, if, you, if you do middle mouse down, you're going to paint one block, right? But if you do control, it paints a, a bunch of blocks. Like, not that many, but like, a few. But is there a way to paint more? Let's go down here to, to our area, and see if we can paint a couple more. If I do alt, no, alt doesn't do it, shift, okay, shift does a bunch. What about control shift? Control shift paint. Oh, that paints everything. Oh my god. That paints that's exactly what we wanted. Okay. So everything is now red. And the reason I did that is because we're going to uh, we're going to make it red and white and red's going to be the primary color. So painting everything red really helps me out. And anything that we don't want painted red like the interior stuff, we're going to repaint that. So that'll be painted a different color and it'll be fine. So let's think about red and white here. What do, what do we want to do here? I'm thinking probably a stripe down the middle. Like, if we do something like this, so I remember control painted an area of three like that. So if we do a, a stripe down the middle, kind of like this, let's go out front and see what that looks like. 
What do you guys think? A, a stripe down the middle? Uh, maybe more stripes along the sides? I don't know. What do you guys think about this, this specific paint scheme? Uh, post that down in the comments, and if you don't like the paint scheme, tell me that, and, uh, and, and we'll consider something different. But I do like red and white. What kind of pattern can we do? What, think of like a, you can do a checkered pattern, like this. I don't know. Does, does that look good? Uh, having like a checkered pattern along the side? I don't know. What do you guys think? Post that down in the comments and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll consider all kinds of paint patterns here. Uh, except for adult themed paint patterns. No phallic symbols, please. But, uh, but I think it's starting to look pretty good. Okay, let's copy this on the other side. So we went, what did we do? We went out. Okay, I think I kind of, I think I kind of have it down to memory. So, uh, it's good. So we went out one like that, right? And then let's bring this out real quick. Okay, I don't really have it down to memory. What did we do there? God, I don't remember. Uh, we went out one and then forward. Okay, so I've got it. I've got it, guys. And then we went like this, right? Okay, so let's do the same thing on this one. We went one. No, no, we didn't do that. We went, maybe I don't have it, but I think I do. So hang on. Give me half a second and here we go. One, two. So you went out as well. One, two, like that. And then you started to cut inward, right? So inward, inward. And then you, what did you do? You went in like this. Okay. And the way we're doing this is very risky for us forgetting <laughs> how to like how to do this so hang on how many blocks one two three okay plus that that other one okay so i've got a weird way of thinking to myself you guys are gonna have to live with it <laughs> i think to myself in mumbles and such i don't know how some youtubers are able to i guess it comes with practice some youtubers are able to actually like uh keep a thought like like do something completely different than what they're thinking and then talk about it at the same time like talk about something completely different i don't know how they do that like i said I just I, I think it just comes with practice here so let's count the dimensions one two three four there and then in one two three four five okay so one two three four here and then if we look at the inner one one two three four five okay we're just counting some dimensions here uh if you don't understand what i'm doing here i'm just counting the uh the dimensions that we're going to have to keep track of oh no oh no ow <laughs> we ran out of jetpack. Oh, we you know what? We must have forgotten to Dang it. We must have forgotten to uh refill our jetpack when we were here. Okay. Let's fly back. No. Hopefully our body did not fall through. Someone commented by the way that apparently that actually happens to even when you're not using the mod that I'm using, which is the unlimited speed mod, that your body does still fall through occasionally. Okay, we don't want this stuff. Which is kind of a weird glitch, your body kind of falling through the ground. I, th I think that's... You know what? Where are we going? We can just... Nah, let's go here. I was thinking we could go back to the ship to refill our canisters, but... I'd rather fill it up here, because I don't want to... Uh, well, I don't... I, I, was, I was too lazy to set the... Um, set the thing to refill mode. <laughs> that's the real reason. Alright, let's make sure that all of these are set here. So, one, two, three, four, five, awesome. One, two, three, four, uh, awesome. This is looking pretty similar. Make Do a, a sky look here to make sure that's all even. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, okay, I can't count from this far. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm thinking everything is uh, very similar. Let's get these slanted blocks in and we'll be all set to, uh, to, to do this. Alrighty, so first things first, slanted blocks here. We've got a couple of them that we want and we want them to be on the side here so one two three four uh, then we want some sand slanted blocks here slanted slanted and slanted now let's work on this side here same exact thing uh, except facing the other way so one two three four we're gonna get some slanted blocks here three and that one is a little bit weirdly shaped okay okay come on there we go and now let's do the inside right here, the last thing we need to do. Oh, that one shaped itself automatically for me, thank you. And that one too, wow. That's something to lighten up my day. <laughs> Automatic shaping. Okay, so let's get these ones first. We're gonna grab 
one, two, three, four. Awesome. We're not getting that glitch anymore where it was messing us up as we tried to fly and weld at the same time. Okay. It uh, looks like we're out of materials. So let's fly back to base and go and grab some. So, so far there probably haven't been any cuts in the video. I can't imagine where cuts have been. Uh, but I, I don't think that Andrew, editing Andrew, has made any cuts yet. So what do you guys think of this style of uh, doing less cuts than original? Do you guys want me to go back to more cuts? I could do that. Uh, I could do more cuts. In fact, when I was actually planning out this video, I was thinking what I was going to do is I was going to do uh, show just a little bit of the actual welding and then cut and then go to a different area of the ship and show a little bit of that welding until we got the whole thing done. But I don't know. Just trying out new styles. Always a fun thing to do. Let's get these. We're going to see if we can fly and get these as well. Awesome. You know, I'm really liking this red, by the way. It looks cool, I think. And I think when the ship's done, it's going to look really nice as a red ship. But uh, one thing that they did, and I, I did notice this, is that it seems like they limited the number of colors that you have in Space Engineers. Uh, where it used to be you had a bunch of different colors, like you had different kinds of green, different kinds of black, different kinds of yellow. Uh, I think they limited that down to only like four or five different colors, or five or six even. Um, maybe just to make it simpler, I don't know. But are these even? Let's fly. Let's fly to space. Those look pretty even to me. I mean, we don't have that big pillar there yet. But, uh, but yeah, those are looking pretty even. Just taking a couple glances here so I don't miss anything. Uh, and, and I'm thinking that's pretty good. Okay, so uh, I guess let's add the thruster here. So do we have a thruster, an atmospheric thruster here? We have the big one. That's what we want, the big thruster. And we're going to see if we can place this. We need steel plates for this, which we have plenty of. Uh, and we're going to have to make sure that this is going the right direction as well. So are you face? How do I know if it's facing down? Okay, that's that's where it comes out. So yeah, that's facing down. We're gonna place it right there on the bottom block, and then let's go to the other one but and place that one before we start like building it. Okay, can we build this? Yeah. Okay. So that glitch only lasts for a couple seconds. Uh, let's place this thruster here. Make sure it's facing the right way first. So are you? Yep, you're facing the right way. Awesome. Place you right there, and then let's start building. Okay, so what are we going to need? We're going to need lots of metal grids, large steel tubes, construction components. Let's fly back to base because a lot of that stuff, ow, a lot of that stuff we can find at base. And what we might do is we might actually grab all of that stuff and bring it over in the big ship. I think that might be the best idea here since we have tons of storage on that thing. And we don't want to make too many flights. First, let's repair ourselves so we don't die. Okay, looking good. And let's go. Is that 96 bothering some of you? <laughs> if you have like mild OCD, that might bother you. So just to save you, we're going to turn that 96 into a 100 at the bottom left. There we go. Okay, so let's grab some of the stuff that we need. I know we need a bunch of steel plates. So let's grab a bunch of steel plates. We're going to throw those into our ship. We have an unknown signal coming in, but we're not going to worry about that quite yet. Uh, why is there a hand drill in our container? Whatever. Okay, so we've got that. Let's get some... We need large steel tubes, I believe. Please don't hit me, Mr. Meteor Storm. Uh, we need metal grids. Uh, we need 80 of those, if I remember correctly. So here's 50. I think we're going to have to make a couple of them as well. Oh, that's a deadly looking storm, but it looks like everything's going to hit kind of over there. So I'm not even going to watch that. Let's go into production and make some metal plates. Let's make... Um, metal plates, we'll make 100. 85. Why 85? missing items you need nickel cobalt okay whatever that's fine did we get hit okay so it all hit over there we're fine let's let this make some of the stuff that we need we'll grab some interior plates i'm not quite sure if we need them we'll grab some of those we'll grab some of these we'll grab some of those awesome we're just going to bring a lot of stuff i think is what we're going to do because if we don't use it here we're going to end up using it somewhere else as well so it's okay to bring unnecessary materials on board Okay, let's bring some more construction components. We're going to need, like, all those. We're going to bring some computers. We'll bring some motors, definitely, because I know that thing needs motors. Hop on down over here. And should we make some thruster components? We might. We might be able to do that. Let's fly back over here. A uh, quick little look at what we need for this. It looks like we need motors. Lots of motors. Uh, construction components, not that many. 
Large steel tubes, right. So we need 100 total of large steel tubes. Do we have any in here? Doesn't look like it. Do we have any in here? No, we're gonna have to actually make some. So 100 total of large steel tubes. That's no worry. As soon as we find them. There we go. Make 100 of those. Awesome. While we're doing that, we're just gonna carry over a bunch of motors because we, we need like 2,000 of them. And in fact, I should tell my, my production to make a bunch of those as well. What? Okay, zero. That's what we wanted. Production! Make me a, couple, a bunch of motors. Where's motors? Here. You only require nickel and iron, so that's fine. We're going to go ahead and make uh, 2,000 of those, because I think we're just going to need loads of them. Give me more motors. We'll just throw those aboard. A little bit of lag there as the game saves. Our, our ship can really carry quite a bit. Okay, we're just going to grab all this stuff right here. Uh, why did you stop making... Oh, you know what? I bet it didn't stop. I thought it stopped making large steel tubes, but I bet you they're just sitting inside the inventory of one of our containers. So, no worries there. Let's go here. I think this is the default container that it spits things out into. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Where are our large steel tubes, and why did you not make them? Oh, because it's an assembler too, of course. Sometimes I'm dumb. Okay. Let's grab... We want motors, right? You guys should be making motors aplenty. So there's plenty of motors, and there's plenty more of motors. And that should be good for at least one of our engines, right? That's almost good for two, so let's wait out the, the motors. Or let's just grab some from here, since we have a bunch. But uh, but yeah, if we want to make this able to float... Actually, you know what? We'll be able to do a test this episode as well, just to see if that thing can float... Uh, or can hover, rather, without the need of those hydrogen thrusters. So we'll turn off the hydrogen thrusters and see what happens. Uh, here's some more motors, and let's grab a couple of them from here. Can we grab a couple more? Probably not too many. Alright, let's fly this thing over. So press P to release the landing gear, and let's go! Oops, turned a little bit too fast there. So I think the best landing spot currently, we don't really have a hangar yet. That's, oh, that's another thing someone mentioned in the comments that I haven't talked about yet. I'll talk about that in a second as we're, uh, this thing, why is this not stopping? As we're building the, the stuff, I'll talk about that. But uh, but we're going to land this right here. On this. Right. On the ceiling. Because we don't currently have a place to actually land it. Like a flat area. Alrighty. So, the hangar. Someone mentioned in the comments, and this is an amazing idea by the way. Uh, that we should have a hangar somewhere. Like somewhere that we could uh, like keep a ship on board this. and Something like this. Could you imagine like if we had that ship in here but then we also had like a big door that opened on the bottom or on the back or on the side or something uh, i thought it was a really good comment and i thought i thought that's a great idea so that is something that i think we're definitely going to do here and we're, we're going to have a hangar at some point where we'll be able to store probably just like one or two escape ships or like mining ships or something uh, so definitely stay tuned for that i don't know where we're going to put it yet but I was thinking, not back here, since we're, this is the boot of the ship, the booty, uh, where we plan on having a bunch of stuff already. But I'm thinking kind of over, maybe right here, under the cockpit, we could just have a ship, or like a hangar, with a big door uh, at the bottom or something. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that. Uh, let's put the, the remaining motors in here. I want to get the motors out of the way first, because the motors are the heaviest thing. And once we get the motors done... Everything else we should be able to bring over in one big trip. Okay, you just need a couple more motors. Probably two more trips of motors, and then we'll be able to bring everything else. And in fact, do we have enough motors? I think we do. I hope we do. Okay, one more trip of motors, and we will be set. So here's our remaining motors. Let's bring some of these as well. Okay, that's motors and metal grids taken care of. So let's throw the remaining motors back in here. Uh, we're going to grab the the rest of the metal grids. We'll grab some uh, construction components because I know both of those need these. So here we go. Nope, that's not the right thing. Okay, that's all those taken care of. You just need large steel tubes and steel plates. Okay. So the same thing over here. You just need large steel tubes and steel plates. Awesome. I really like this idea of bringing the ship. Why are you not built? And do we have another one on the other side? Yeah. That's fine. No. Ow. <laughs> Just crashing into stuff. Okay, large steel tubes. We can't carry all of them, unfortunately. So here's large steel tubes one. 
And here's large steel tubes too. Let us fly back, get some more large steel tubes plus the uh, the rest of the steel plates that we need. So large steel tubes and a bunch of steel plates. Should be enough for both of these. Awesome, nice red engine there. And we'll grab the other one as well. Nice red engine, awesome. What does this look like from up top? I think it looks pretty cool. Looks like a VTOL, that's exactly what it looks like. Uh, let's see what it looks like from the bottom just to make sure that these aren't sticking out too, too much. That's fine, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be okay. Uh, in fact, we might even lower them a little bit, but what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna do a quick little test of this. Let's make sure it has enough energy really quickly. Uh, it looks like it's got plenty of, oops, I just used a bunch of hydrogen, uh, plenty of energy. Okay, let's press K. We're gonna grab some of our, we wanna grab our hydrogen thrusters. So the up hydrogen thrusters. Oh, is this all, oh, it, it now puts up next to them. It didn't used to do that. Wow, that's awesome. Cause you have to, you used to have to kind of guess which ones were which and group them accordingly. So we're gonna get these right here. We're gonna group those into uh, hydrogen thrusters. Hydrogen thrusters, save that group right there. And we're going to group these into atmospheric thrusters. Okay, save those right there. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually grab these groups and we're going to place them uh, down here. So let's press G. We're going to grab our groups, grab our hydrogen thrusters. Uh, we're going to toggle on and off, and then we're going to grab our atmospheric thrusters. Same thing, toggle on and off. So if we press V here, we're going to go into third person and we'll be able to look at our whole ship. Oh, we can look underground too, or we could for a second. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off our hydrogen thrusters. So, pew, there they go. They're off. Now we're going to, our, our atmospheric thrusters are already on. We can turn them off right there and turn them on again. Um, ship fuel low. Okay, it looks like our ship's fuel is low and it doesn't look like we have enough thrust uh, to actually low. hold this up. But what we're going to do is we're going to try. We're going to see what happens. So, ship meteor storm. Low. Where's that real quick? Let's see if we can spot that. There we go. That one looks like it has a collision course meteor for our base. Storm. But I think we're gonna be fine overall. Okay, let's. That look. Doesn't that look like a shark with those like white teeth on the front? Okay, you guys ready for this? We're going to detach our landing gear and we're gonna try and float up. We're gonna try and hover. That did not work. <laughs> our atmospheric thrusters are on. They're just not powerful enough to actually support the whole ship. So we're definitely gonna need a lot more atmospheric thrusters if we're gonna to want to hover, uh, which is something we're gonna to have to take into account somehow. Either that, or we're just going to need a lot more, um, a lot more power because the the current power generator is not providing enough power for our engines, which is believable since that's only a temporary one. So that was a major fail. Landing get unlocked. Can I lock them? Okay, they're locked. Awesome. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Let's unlock that, and I think we've we know enough now. Anything damaged? Hopefully not. This may have gotten damaged a little bit. Nope, doesn't look like it. and doesn't look like anything else was damaged. Maybe some blocks back here were damaged by the weight of the ship. Nope, nothing got damaged. Just did a light tap on the ground. So I think that's fine. Uh, we're running on 30 minutes already, and we haven't even gotten most of the body done. I can't believe this. Okay, let me do a little bit of work off camera then, and I'll come back and I'll show you what we've got uh, done. Time kind of flew here. I didn't realize that 30 minutes were going by that fast. So let's... We'll, we'll just do a little bit of basic body work here, and the next episode, hopefully, we'll be able to, to finish the body of the ship. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back to the newly red ship. I've done a little bit of work on the hull of the ship to try and get things looking ship shape. No pun intended, that just kind of came out. Uh, but yeah, I, I haven't really done much for the overall hull here. I figured this might take a lot of work. So next episode, we might do kind of like a montage style uh, cut episode where we're, we're working on different sections. But for today, what we did was we worked on the, um, on, on the rest of the... Um, the side areas. So what we had originally, we had this cool little, let's see, hang on, let me get back. Okay, so this is what we had originally. We had this kind of area right here, but what we added today is this kind of side area here where you can kind of go into a hallway. Uh, it adds more to the ship here so that now you're 
you don't have to go through this narrow pass or up these. You can actually go through these little narrow hallways to go around all of this stuff. So the narrow hallway, we added what's going to be windows eventually. We're going to add those right here. Uh, windows, windows, windows. And it goes around the atmospheric thrusters. Now, unfortunately, the atmospheric thrusters can't hold us up. As you saw, uh, it, it, it was a horrible failure. And we're going to need a lot more atmospheric thrusters for that. Or we're just going to need a bigger power source, which we do plan on adding as well. Uh, so here, but we'll see we have the exact same thing on the other side. It's an exact replica. And in, in fact, if you guys spot any differences from what we've gone through so far, please tell me because these are things that I will have to uh, fix before we finish everything. I don't like things being asymmetric. But here we go. This is the whole of the outside. This is what this looks like if you're kind of going around the ship. Uh, now it looks like it's kind of got little arms or little nubs at least, but but uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I originally planned on making this go a little bit higher, like one up there, but I think it looks better if I cut it off right about here. And then the ship might go higher itself. Uh, so these would be just be like little wings. So instead of actually morphing with the ship, they're going to almost be their own separate entities once the thing is done. So what do you guys think so far? I mean, this is this is pretty cool. We're finally getting part of the hole done, and it's finally starting to look like a ship. In fact, uh, when I was over somewhere, I forget where I was. Oh, over there somewhere picking up a, uh, a, a thing, one of those falling signals. Uh, I was over there picking up one of those, and I actually looked back, and I saw it. It does look like a ship. It's starting to actually look like a real thing, which I think is really cool. So, like I said, uh, what what paint do you guys think? This is the most important thing. The paint. The paint job is the most important thing. What do you guys think is the, the best paint job that we have here? Do you like the shark teeth uh, style? And if so, how far should we continue the shark teeth style? Should it be throughout the whole ship? Or should it just be on the front? Uh, or do you like this kind of stripe pattern here? Where the stripe would kind of go down the whole side of the sh or the whole thing of the ship here. And then we might have stripes come on the side. Um, if you don't like either of those, what pattern do you think we should use? And I'll, I'll, I'll test it out. I'll see which one looks nice. But um, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So if you guys liked it, hit that like button. Uh, make sure you put your comments and suggestions down below. And next episode, we'll be working on the hull. So I'll see you guys then.